Hello and greetings everybody, this is Heretic Plus, back again with another episode of Let's Play The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. We're back here masquerading, or role-playing here, as Blood Eyes the Wood Elf in our awesome Imperial Armor, dual-wielding with a bow, that's how we roll. So we're back here in, um, shoot, Winterhold. You're kind of a jerk, man, but you know how life goes. You'll go far, Nick. Nelkir. Nelkir. I'm gonna name a dog after you someday. I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Whoa, dragons? Um, I don't, I don't mess with dragons. Have bad experiences with dragons. Bad experiences indeed. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Well, of course he is. I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, great. Fetch. I'm an exalted errand boy. To a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Huh. All right, where am I going and what am I fetching? Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. How That's right. You? All business. So details to your betters, am I right? Wow, you're a we, dick. Uh, Ferengar secret fire. I want a cool ass name like that. Hey, guess what, guys? You see, Heretic Plus, uh, that that's me. I'm kind of a badass, and I've played this game so many times, I knew we'd have to go get that anyway, so we already did it to save some time. Here you go, buddy. Always thinking ahead. We liked Donnie Darko before it was popular. So how about some reward? Avenici. Sounds like someone from Assassin's Creed 2. You know, guys, I really want to play Assassin's Creed 3. I feel like it's a shame that I haven't yet. It's been out for like two months now. You see, I played the first Assassin's Creed, got all the achievements. Oh shit. Let me pause now. Okay, so I, I got all the achievements, got all the flags um, in, in Assassin's Creed 2, got all the achievements, got all the stupid feathers, but I only just started Brotherhood. I never finished Brotherhood, and I've never finished Revelations, and so I feel like if I go to play Assassin's Creed 3, I will have missed so very much, you know? I mean, like, to me, I guess Ezio just got kind of bland after a while. I wanted to do something new, and, uh... Revelations and Brotherhood just didn't have that for me, really. Brotherhood really didn't look that much cooler than Assassin's Creed 2 did. Revelations did look kind of more interesting, but if I haven't played Brotherhood, I can't really play that, you know? It sucks because Desmond's story advances, and the characters does too, but that's not as important. How exciting. Where was it seen? How exciting? You, you scientific bastard. Take this a bit more seriously if I were you. That's right. A dragon decides to attack I don't know if we can stop it. And if a blue chick tells you that, you know you're screwed. Let's go. I really wish it animated both of our swords. That would definitely be cool. But oh well. One of the new servants? Remember that I like my meat rare. Wow, even your daughter's a dick. So, Dagny? Tells me you came from the western water. Dagny. That you can't cook good sweet rolls in the skeever hole of a city. About the dragon. Your dad owns this place. In the skeever hole of a city. Than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it I should probably pay attention to what's happening with the dragon. <laughs> oh. When I, left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Another now son. No, no, not not really. Irulet, you better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, bitch. I'm already ready. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. Sounds good. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. Whoa, 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 whoa! Look, I already got the dragon stone. So I told you about the dragon. Do I really have to fight it? Anyone else here? I ran away! Okay, if you need help running away, I'm right there for you, man. I'm a wood elf, I'm quick, I'm nimble, but fighting that damn thing? I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. You're now allowed to fill our coffers with money. Congratulations. 
Oh, that's nice, though. We get Hide Armor of Destruction. That sounds pretty awesome. Destruction spells cost less to cast. Unfortunately, what you'll find is that the armor itself kind of sucks monkey dick. Like, ours does 31, theirs does 26. So unless we're really using destruction, it's really not going to be all that good. And to be honest, I'm not really going to be using any destruction, like, at all. So, we'll just sell that. No, I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on Dude, you got some awesome sideburns. Look at those sideburns. As you command. You look like a dick, One though. Last thing here left. This isn't a death or glory mission. This is all death. All glory goes to me. You're a Bargruff. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. That's kind of a cool line. I'm the very soul of caution. I envy you the chance to see this dragon up close. Heh. <laughs> you can go in my stead if you want. I'll lend you my armor. I'll, I'll, I'll just take your fancy bathrobe and dagger, and we can switch places. I'll have to stab out your eyes, though, because that's the only way that you'll actually look like blood eyes. Sorry. Oh no, that's how it happened to me, too. Do you know how I got these scars? My father was a, a drinker and a fiend. And one night he came home crazier than usual, and, and mother grabbed the kitchen knife to defend herself. Father didn't like that. Oh, I love that. That scene from uh, The Dark Knight. He took the knife to my face. <laughs> and and now, I'm always laughing. <laughs> I don't know if I got that exactly right, but it's kind of pretty close. Pretty close. So yeah, we're pretty much like the Joker, only it happened to our eyes and not our mouth. So yeah, we don't see in 2020, but we can kiss just fine. And eat barbecue. Skyrim barbecue is probably awesome. I'm just saying. I, I feel like the people of Skyrim would be have really, really good barbecue, really good bratwurst, stuff like that. You'd think that all the people would be more freaking out about this dragon that's attacking them. Where is my marker pointed to? There you go. Let's go, bitch. I'm ready. It's a dragon. I'll shoot it down with my awesome bow. Where is my awesome bow? The ancient Nordic bow. Man, I want an ancient wood elf bow. That would be awesome. Here's the situation. situation time. Dragon is the Snickerdoodles, a dragon? I want some guard armor. You heard right. I said a dragon. I don't much care where it came from or who sent it. What I do know is that it's made the mistake. Do you know there's some fruits that actually grow better in the cold How can weather? We fight a dragon? Fruit that grow better in the weather? Tell me more. None of us have ever seen a dragon before. I tell you, these children are just a wealth of information and gossip. We are honor bound to fight it. Even if honor bound. This dragon is threatening our homes, our families. Dude, your helmet is awesome. Are you going to let me face I'm not a Nord. You're not even a Nord. You're telling a Nord how to be a Nord and you're a... You're a freaking Dark Elf. Okay. Everyone's just... Ooh, I love me a strong Nord woman. Hey, hey guys, you go handle the dragon. I'll, I'll just... Be over here with, uh, Olfina. That's a terrible name. Okay, goodbye. I cannot have sexual relations with a woman with a name like Olfina. Are we going or what? Hey. To the Western Watchtower! But ba da ba da Ooh, chickens. Nice. So I'm at the very end of the, uh, or, uh not the very end. I'm at the mid-season finale of uh, season three of The Walking Dead, and I am pissed off because I cannot watch the friggin' finale, but I can watch everything else. So now I'm just killing myself because I want to know what happens next, and oh god, that show gets me all in a in a jumble. Gets me all flustered. Hey, is there metal in the bottom of our shoes? That's... I, I guess that makes sense, but I can't imagine it would be very comfortable. With, like, wearing cleats. Yep, the jarl is forever in our uh, 
debt. Indebted. Ooh, a chat with an old woman. <laughs> I'll do you a good deed. No, I won't. You're hideous. Well, I'm skipping the wall, guys. Woo! That's for squares. Over the river and through the woods to go fight the dragon we go. The tower is tall, and most of all, we're really afraid of toads. Okay. So, yeah, but as the Wood Elf is apparently really afraid of frogs. So, it, I, I don't know if we actually come across frogs in this game, but if we do, I'm terrified. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, I got him! Got him! Come on! F forget the dragon! Guys, dinner! Dinner! Elk, give me your hide. Small antlers, you scrawny bastard. I wanted something impressive. Hey, somebody help me carry him back. Hey, guys. Could we just forget about the dragon? We got food. We can feed the elk to the dragon, and then while it's eating, we can run away. That That's the wood elf way. That's how we do things in elsewhere. Alright. Where's the dragon? Where's the dragon? Where are the guards? Come on, guys. You guys are so slow. Let's go. Come on. The Western Watchtower. Let's go. Where? I don't see it. People. Hey, dragon. Oh, shit. Where's the dragon? Ah! It's a dragon! Shoot it! Shoot it till it's dead! Kill it dead! You go to hell, dragon! You go to hell and you die! Okay, it's really freaking fast. Oh shit, I'm a really bad shot. Whoa, okay! Mir. Mir Malnir? We're fighting a fucking dragon, guys. This is Skyrim. How am I gonna shoot this thing? Hey, buddy. Hey, are you stopping? Oh shit. We're on fire! And it increased our light armor stat, was it? <laughs> oh. Silly wood elf. Hey, if we're a wood elf, do we burn faster because we're made of wood? And why do wood elves burn? Because they're made of wood. Oh, shit! It landed right next to me. Okay. Still swords. Hey, both of them. Both. Why can't I equip both swords? Shit, come on. This is not good. Why are my hotkeys messed up? Get him! Kill the fucking dragon! Bleed his nose! We're gonna die. Crap. I need a shield! Kill it before it takes off! Ow! I'm on fire again! Oh wow, I'm really gonna die. <laughs> this is gonna be awful. Can I increase anything good? Stamina potions! One last power attack! There can be only one! And it died! It's really dead, trust me. Give me your arrows and... You have really heavy bones. Wait, so this dragon only weighs, the dragon only weighs, uh, 45, 75 pounds. That's, this thing is like 100% water or something. And he ate a guard's head. Wonderful. And his armor, which is light armor, that's actually pretty useful. What, what do we have on? We got 16 for a fine helmet. Dude, dude, dude. Where's, what's the weight? This, oh shit. Don't take off your clothes. Put your clothes back on quickly. Okay. Damn good shooting, boys. Nice. We're kind of a bastard. But we can't see our eyes anymore. What the fuck? We just absorbed his soul. And his skin. He is dead.
Word of power learned, learned, ah, learned, learned force, unrelenting force. So basically, um, when you kill a dragon, okay, no, when you find a word wall, or some people can actually teach you them, you know, you learn shouts, like I talked about, um, an episode or two ago, you learn shouts. Um, when you kill a dragon, you actually absorb the dragon soul. This is what makes us special from other people, but I'll explain that later. Um, you basically use the charges from dragon souls to unlock shouts. That's how it works. So the more dragons we kill, the more sh um, the more shouts we can use. And the the first one automatically uses. Um, we don't have to equip it or anything. I but can't believe it. You're dragonborn. You look like a Mongol, man. You're like a Hun. Dragonborn? What do you mean? I'm a wood elf. Back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's oh shit! What did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. Uh, no, no. Actually, I was just. I don't have a good comeback. Yes, I was absorbing its power. How did you know? What happened to me? To find out. Try to shout. That would prove it. According to the old legends. Only the dragonborn can shout yep. without training. Yep. So we are a dragonborn. That means that we can shout without advanced training. It just comes naturally to us. When we learn a war word, we can just do it. It's just, it's natural. So we're going to go ahead and equip our unrelenting or our shout, which uh, is under magic, I believe. That is kind of cool about Skyrim. Pretty much, since it counts as magic, anyone can, can pretty much do magic in this game. Or at least have the appearance of the doing it. I've never heard of Tiber yeah, I can shout. You see that? There weren't any dragons. Where's Ira left? They're just coming back now for the first time in forever. 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 Go Sandlot. Come on, Ira. Tell us. Do you believe in this dragonborn business? Kill the dragon. Some of you would be Do you want to go have sex? Quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Neither do you. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill it. Actually, I killed it. You just kind of got in the way and took up flame damage. Put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't a Nord. You're not a Nord, chick. Cross Tamriel. Don't understand. Plenty of things just as outlandish as this. Bullshit. I you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. I've seen a troll walk around in drag. That's pretty odd. You, really you kind of look like the troll. Okay, so we're all done here. So we're gonna go ahead back to White Run. Let's go ahead and fast travel though, because we don't have time to walk. Fast travel into White Run. Eventually, we'll unlock a fast travel straight to uh, Dragon's Reach. I thought we would have had that by now, but for some reason we don't, so we'll have to walk up from the bottom. Luckily, because Skyrim has fast traveling, I probably won't really have to edit these episodes like at all, so that's really nice. And until the load times get really bad, I'm not going to really worry about them either. Of course, this one's kind of bad. Already been told you're not allowed here. Turn around and go back the way you came. Back the way you came. No hey, you can't turn the black people away. Whoa. Did you hear that? Back. This is not over. You there. Like a, an enormous burp. You will pay good money for information. Who are you looking for? A foreigner in these lands. Redguard like us. You're slave hunters. Using her true name. Betraying your own kind. Any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in White Run. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. Haha. <laughs> White Run won't let the Red Guards in. That's kind of funny. Who are you looking for again? We're looking for a fugitive who comes from Hammerfell. Hammerfell. Red Guard woman. She may be somewhere in this city. Maybe. It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. It's okay. Not your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. It's all we need to know. We don't need to know much. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. 
It might indeed. I do like personal gain, and I do like mercenarying. It's very fun. Okay. We are really in shape, man. Oh, by the way. Um. Oh, shoot. Wrong button. How do we sprint again? Right. Um, interesting to note, I didn't actually, on my first character, uh, he was an orc, I believe I mentioned, named the Russian. Um, I actually didn't know that we could sprint until I was, like, level 47. Like, I just, I used Whirlwind Sprint all the time, the, uh, the shout you unlock, that, like, shoots you forward. I never knew you could sprint! You couldn't sprint in Oblivion, or in Morrowind, and it never, no, it, no one ever told me we could do it in the game, I don't think, so I just never did it. And then I had a friend over, and he was like, why don't you sprint? And I was like, I didn't know I could sprint. Hot damn! How about that? Good. You're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. What's up, Ball Gruff? What happened at the Watchtower? What's the Jarl of the Gruff Balls. It was destroyed, but we killed the dragon. I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. Irileth? That blue chick, she did nothing! It was all me! Dragon Ball. Oh yeah, I might be the most powerful person in Skyrim, maybe. But I'm not blue, so I'm sure that won't ma matter to you at all. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. The Greybeards? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. Oh, so these these guys are uh, neckbeard people. Neckbeards are weird, guys. If you can't grow a real beard, don't even try, okay? Because neckbeards are gross. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into, into a thumb. Or thum. Really <laughs> I can channel power with my thumbs. It's pretty amazing. Your gift. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeard. I've been called. You hear the thundering sound as you I have been called to a dance off with the Greybeards. The Greybeards summoning you to high I will represent White Run in the Seven World Dance Championships. Centuries, at least. Not since Tybeseptim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rungar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Are you a Nord? Can't I don't think you are. You look like a Breton. Any signs of him being this what dragon boy? Yo, yeah, well, you look like a skinny version of Blue Santa Claus, bitch. I'll fight you. Amen. Do you think the Nords would take me in as an honorary Nord? I mean, I'm not quite as tall, but I'm tough enough. That's the Greybeard's business, not ours. Yeah, and it's my business, Proventus Avenici. Revealed something in Arrivederci. And the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? Yep. We'd better get up to can we see our red eyes through this helmet? There is no I don't think we can. Can we see them? Nope. Now we have black eyes. I envy you, you know. To climb the 7,000... <laughs> Oh, screw that shit. To climb the 7,000 steps again. You have got to be shitting me. Well, yeah, it's 7,000 feet at least up in the air. They're just up there sitting around playing Dungeons and Dragons all day. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You are really long-winded. You're welcome. Make me a Nord. Woo! So, okay, Thanes are like knights, basically. So we're now a knight. And uh, Lydia is... Okay, now that we're a Thane, we can pretty much get away with most crimes in Whiterun. Short of killing people, you might be able to kill people and still get away with it. But like assault, stealing, stuff like that, trespassing, you can uh, tell them you're a thane and they'll be like, well, don't do it again. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Um, so Lydia is our house girl. She's down here. She's a very interesting, saucy little Nordic lady. 
One of my favorites. What's up, baby? Mmm. Love that Lydia. <laughs> oh, you'll serve me quite well, Lydia. So, Lydia is actually really funny to me. Because, now... Obviously, not only guys play games. Lots of girls play games. I know lots of girls who, who are my friends who play lots of video games. Um, what I find is really hilarious. Every guy who plays Skyrim loves Lydia. In fact, they love Lydia so much... Um, they don't want to take her with you and to take her with you and to take her with them in their party for fear that she'll get killed and she'll be dead. Um, that's how much guys seem to like Lydia. She's one of the most lovable characters in all of Skyrim. But girls, girls seem to hate Lydia, and I think it's hilarious because guys love her and girls hate her because they're jealous. They wish they could be like Lydia. I want to marry a girl just like this someday, just like this. Only she better not dress like that in bed, because that would be very uncomfortable. The I'm a Thane. Has recognized you as a person of great importance in the hold, a hero. The title of Thane is an honor, a gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. I'm on business for the for the Jarl. What does a house Jarl do? As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you, guard you and, and fuck you with my, with my life. <laughs> Great! Follow me and use your help. We're gonna carry her with us, though. Um, and I will take bets, people, on how many episodes it will take for her to die. I hope she doesn't die. She's taller than I am, I think. One day, I hope to marry this lady, but we'll see what happens. But for now, we'll carry her with us. So, uh, we're almost still here. Let, let's go find Proventus. Avenici, what's up, Santa? The Jarl is You're balding on top, buddy. Very busy. Perhaps I can assist you. A house for five thousand gold? We don't have that much money. Enjoy your visit, but the Jarl is very busy, so go away. That's what he just said. You are a naughty, naughty bastard. See that that helmet is awesome. That's an elven helmet, and we're an elf. Although I believe this armor is modeled after the High Elves, um, however, I believe it is at least, and the armor in Oblivion I believe is modeled after the Wood Elves? I don't know, they, it, it might all be modeled after the High Elves, but I guess I'll look into that guys, that's kind of interesting. Because the guy, the um, what's his name, the smith, let's go Lydia. It's getting cold outside. Baby, it's cold outside. What was I talking about? I don't remember. Am I lost? Whoa! Kids are fucking bastards! You demon bitch! Let's go. Kick her ass, come on. Uh oh. I might be under arrest. Hey, it's okay, I'm a Thane. Haha! <laughs> oh, awesome. Of course, I bet Lydia doesn't like us much because we just assaulted a small child, but she was kind of a bully. So, um, in my opinion, that's a day's work well done. It wouldn't be a full day if we, if we didn't oppress somebody. We might as well oppress children, they're the only people shorter than we are. So it is uh, pretty late at night. Hopefully we can still catch one of these shops while it's still open. Here we go. Yeah, Bella Thor's General Goods. We're about a third of the way to level 6. Sounds good. And our next quest, I believe, um, I'm going to do the one with the uh, red guards who appeared at the front gate shortly before. General goods Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. Where'd you go? Buy hey. Sister, I'd sell her in a where are you? Where are you? There you are. I'd even buy one of your relatives if you're looking to sell. <laughs> what? Hey. Yeah, that's, hey. That's, 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 Keep your eyes off of Lydia, okay? She is mine, Bellathor. I'm gonna fucking don't come between me and her. Okay, so yeah, I guess he's closed now. That sucks. I think shops close. I think they're open from like nine to eight or like eight to eight. 
nothing of our struggles. What's going on here? Nothing. And what of my son? What of Thorold? What of Thorold? Is he nothing? So Lydia's just chilling. She's like, hey guys, stop arguing, I'm cute. Your son chose his side and he chose poorly. And now he's gone. Such is the way of war. The There's been talk amongst the gods. The better you are. Ouch. Such a thing. My Surely, son that's still not lives. Possible. I feel it in my heart. So tell me, Battle. In her heart. Where is he? Where are you holding? Where are you holding Thorold, Battleborn? Do you believe yes. this? Where are you holding? Look into my eyes. Holding him? Why, I've got him in my cellar. He's my prisoner. But what if he was there all along? Your stupid son. <laughs> you called her a cow. Face it, you old heifer. Your son's dead. Come by Bellator's shop at the market. I'm sure we've got some father. There's nothing more to be said here. Nothing more to be said. What's up, Ingrid? Or Fralia? How do you know they're lying? Come back to her. So she is hitting on us. Look, we have Lydia, okay? And while I'm all for threesomes, you're a little bit old for me just a little i mean i don't get me wrong i like an older woman every now and then but you're kind of too old i'm sorry so we're gonna go ahead and uh well there's really no quest i want to do right now i want to go to that shop in the morning so we're gonna just gonna stand here in the middle of town square for 12 hours we're just gonna stand here with lydia i don't know what we'll be doing but uh together alone in the town square in public, fornicating for all to see, because there's not even here. I don't know. That guard can see. So now it's daylight, and we can go to the shop. You get to the cloud district very often. Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Roark. Nazim's a dick too. Oh, it's locked. Open up. Open up. Open up. Forty-five minutes or fifteen minutes, and it opens up. Okay. Open up! Yay! Hey, I'm the thing. I can, I can do whatever the hell I want. I'm sure you'll find everything. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Okay. Okay. Firstly, this is actually not a bad weapon if you're going to be using axes. Um, And its ability is actually really nice if you're going to start using magical weapons. But we're not, and we're not going to use axes. So I'll go ahead and sell that. Basically, the way Soul Trap works is uh, once you hit somebody with Soul Trap, if they die within the amount of time left, you get to capture their soul into a Soul Gem. I think we have a few of them. And Soul Gems, like I said, can be used to recharge magical items and also to enchant and create magical items. So, uh, that's basically how that works. Sell all this stuff. I'm gonna sell the Guard Helm. Because we're blood eyes, the wood elf, and you, you, we have to be able to see our eyes, you know? That's just... We can't not be able to see our eyes. That would throw off the entire thing. I'm gonna sell all the food, too. I don't see myself using it anytime soon. Um, you wanna find a place quick, though, to store all of your, uh... Like, all of your dragon bones and stuff, because those weigh a lot. A lot of weight goes into those things. Um... So yeah, you want to find somewhere to put them. We can almost afford a house. I think that one's the cheap... No, I think the one in Winterhold is the cheapest house. But uh, we're pretty close to to the 5,000 house here. So we'll... I'll probably, though, I'll probably buy every single house in this game. There's quite a few we can get. And then also in Hearthfire, I believe we can build our own house. I've never done that before. But uh, I guess we'll find out together, guys, how that works. So... Oh, we don't have a helmet on. I will don my helm. Oh, and also I will don my amulet of Debella. Our speechcraft is off the charts. Let's go, Lydia, baby. Come on. Got places to go. Beavers to slaughter in pain while laughing. Okay. So, uh, what do we want to do? Okay, well guys, thank you a lot for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Skyrim, The Elder Scrolls V, or The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. Whatever, whatever order I say it, it always goes down smooth. This was Blood Elf, Blood Elf, Blood Eyes, the Wood Elf, 
also known as Heretic Plus. And uh, until next time, I'm signing off. So go have a good time, eat some tacos, go ha have a good time with the ladies or with the men if you enjoy them more. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye!